we just did the union of sets under the heading of operation of the sets so under the operation of the sets operations on the sets we come to the next topic called the intersection of sets that is intersection of of the sets right now now this word has come from the graphical representation in which this is how we represent the universal set right and within this we have the two sets let's say set a okay and and say a uh, uh, set b which looks like that right? we had we had just taken in 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 the last example for union of the sets we had taken our set a as as 1 2 3 and 4 and set B as 3, 4, 5, and 6. And, and if I represent it here, then, then it is 1, so there's 2, it's 3 here, and a 4 here, okay, okay, and, 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 a, and, and a 5 here, and a 6 here, right? Now we know that, 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 that this part of the set seems to be intersecting, right? It seems to be intersecting. Correct? Now what happens? The, the intersection of the two sets is nothing but the element that is common to both the sets. Right? So, so and, and that is what is meant by this intersection of sets. Right? Do we understand? So it is pretty readily understandable what we mean by intersection of sets if we if we if we uh, focus our attention on the Venn diagram. Okay, so so we write the definition as as the intersection of two sets, the intersection of two sets. A and B B is is the set C which contains which contains all the elements which contains all the elements common to both the sets right common to both the sets so and how do I represent that we represent intersection as we represent intersection of sets intersection of sets by this right by, by a symbol that is that is that is the inverse of okay that is the flip of the thing symbol for the union of the sets right so So in essence, we, we mean to say that A intersection B is the set of all X such that X belongs to A and 
x belongs to b it should belong to both the sets right should belong to both the sets and in our venn diagram it is represented by actually the the area that intersects right so so whole of this okay so whole of this is represented by so whole of this right Full of this, right? This is the intersection of the sets. And and if we are trying to write it as if you're trying to write it analytically, then A intersection B is nothing but this. Okay. A intersection B is nothing but this. Fine. Do we see that? Fine. Once we are done with this, we can go to the properties of the intersection of sets fine so let us try to understand that so properties of intersection of sets intersection of Okay. Now, now let's come to the first property. The first property is pretty simple. That A intersection B is B intersection A. Okay, you take the first and intersect it with second, or you take the second and intersect it with, with, with the first, the common elements will be the same and hence will be the intersection of the sets. So, so this is called the commutative law, right? We go to the second one. If we have more than two, right? So whether we intersect the first two and then to that intersection we intersect the third this is the same as if you intersect the second and third and to the intersection of that you intersect the first and this is called the associative law associative double s right okay so you understand that there, there is there is an a here and and say there is a B here, right? So, so its intersection is this. Right? And to this comes the set C, right? So this is A, this is B, this is C. So the intersection is the area that is common between C and, and A intersection B, which is nothing but this. Right? Which is nothing but, but this green one. Correct?
or what we do is we intersect B and C okay what does that look like if we let, let me let me just copy it fine let me just copy it and and reproduce it here so so we copy and, and paste it and just a replica comes here obviously you should also understand you should also understand let me let me undo this right let me undo this and first of all draw a universal set without that the representations are not correct understand so we draw a universal set here right and we copy it and we copy it and paste it okay now 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 we're free to work on this so so what happens is is if i take b into section c first then i'm actually dealing with with this area right i am dealing with this area this right one that is common to both b and c isn't isn't it right so 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 i'll i'll kind of try to cover up the greenish thing okay so so it is that b and c is that I've taken the intersection and over that I have to and obviously this is not there so, so, so this is not there when I am trying to find out B intersection C it, it is only so much right it is only so much it is there yeah, okay. and B intersection C and now I try to intersect A with it now what is the area that is common to both to both this purple shaded one and to A it is it is this it is maybe I, I'll take red right so so what is the area common C it is this this and this is it not everything within this that means this red thing that becomes the area of this is what we did b intersection c first and then did a intersection that here we first intersected a and b and then intersected c we find that the region is the same is it not it is the same region and that's why we say that intersection is associated okay now now next let's let's come to the third one okay what happens if i what happens if i if i intersect the null set with a okay i get nothing but the null set okay null set has nothing what is common between nothing and something nothing right so so it is phi and what is u intersection a what is u intersection a? a see between this region which is u and and this which is a what is common common is is this itself right the shaded one isn't it so u intersection and and, and we we have seen that u is written like this u intersection a is is a right this is called the the law of phi and u the law of phi and u
this is law of phi n u. Next is a intersection A is A. Okay, what element? Okay, what element with respect to that? Okay, operates with itself and gives itself. That is idempotent law. Idempotent law. Right. Fifth is, and this is an interesting one, A intersection B union C is, is like this distributing over, over the union. So we say that that intersection, intersection distributes over the union, distributes over the union. So there is A intersection B. What happens when it is a number? What happens when it is a number? 2 into 3 plus 4 gives you what? 2 into 3 plus 2 into 4. Okay, so 2 into this plus 2 into this. So, so plus remains there. And this multiplication gets distributed over the addition, right? This is what happens. So, okay. And, and, and 3 plus 4 is 7. So, so that into 2 is 14. Here is 6. Here is 8. So, indeed, 14 is equal to 14. That is true. So, this holds good. Fine. Now the interesting part about the set is that even the union distributes over the intersection. So A, this will be A union B intersection A union C. So, so we mean to say that 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 why write it as intersection that intersection distributes over union do we get that do we get that understand now now how can we so so confidently say that so let us first of all verify the first one okay the first one is that a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c correct okay now, now let us try to first of all make that. So, so we we are we have those three sets. Let's say A. Okay. This set is B. Okay. This is A. And, and and say this is C, right? And over and above, I have I have uh, I have the universal set. Okay. I copied and paste it. Okay. Okay. 
okay let us see if we require more we'll we'll do accordingly let us first of all do b union c what is b this this set is c right we did not write it okay hold on we did not write it so so let me write that c c c c correct what is b union c b union c is is everything that is there right this is b union c fine what is intersection of a with this hash to one okay this is this is this is this red one right this whole red one is the this red one is is what is a intersection b union c now let us find out a intersection b here right what is a intersection b a intersection b is this right the yellow one correct what is a in the section c what is a in the section c a in the section c is is this whole right so what is the union of these union of these is 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 everything everything that is here okay so that is here also here and here right so everything here is the union of a intersection b and a intersection c right and are they the same yes so so this was a intersection b union c and this is a intersection b union a intersection c and we see that both of them are the same now let us try to try to verify whether the union distributes over the intersection so we said that this will be a union b intersection a union c let us first of all find out b intersection c so i'm i'm trying to find out this i'm trying to do a union b intersection c what is b intersection c first of all b intersection c is the thing that is common between b and c which is which is whatever is the overlap of the yellow circle and the and the green one so it is this b intersection c is this isn't it and what is its union with a this a lot plus the area of a right the whole thing so so then i have kind of something like Okay, this whole thing, correct? Now let us try to do a union b 
intersection A union C. Okay. Now what is what is A union B? I'll, I'll hash it, right? So A union B is everything which belongs to A. Okay. And to B and to everything that is common between A and B, right? Okay, this is A union B. What is A union C? Okay, a a and you have to be pretty careful. Okay, you have to be very careful. So, so let me use a contrasting sort of color. So, A intersection C is everything that is common between between a and C, so that is, that is, this, right? Do we see that? Everything that is common between A and C is like that. Now you might find that finding out the intersection is a bit difficult here, but it is not. Why? Wherever you have got this intersection, you will have these small quadrilaterals, right? So just look for the region that has those small quadrilaterals. It is? It is? It is whole of this, right? This, this, this. Here also there is an overlap, this. Okay, and and this. Not, not this, okay? Not this. So I have to go something like this. Let me, let me kind of make it a bit thicker so that you understand when I draw the boundary. So it is this, right? Everything within this, 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 here. Here, here, right, here, and here. Everything within this. Is it not? Is it not? Everything outside this has, has single lines, right? Yes. This has got only the orange ones. This has got only the white ones. This region has got all. So if I, if I kind of try to, try to shave this, it will be something like this, right? this and you'll find that both of these this and this they are the same regions right so so what did not hold and and th then there is there's something strange if you compare it with numbers okay I'll, I'll not say strange but I'll, I'll definitely say it is different right And what is that? That this did not hold for, this did not hold for numbers. You later come to know that union at times stands for plus and intersection stands for multiplications. This you will understand when you are doing probability or permutations and combinations. Okay. So what happens is this 2 plus 3 into 4 is never equal to 2 plus 3 into 2 plus 4. That that never happens because because this here is 2 plus 3 into 4. 3 into 4 is, is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14 
Here this is 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 into 5 is 30, they are not equal. So for numbers, numbers, this holds. If, if you replace this by plus and this by, replace intersection by, by multiplication and union by plus, then this holds, right? That is 2 into 3 plus 4 is indeed equal to 2 into 3 plus 2 into 4 but 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 the other one does not hold but somehow that holds with respect to the sets okay and that is something that is very very important fine